welcome to the Cooks Creek Medieval Festival. Hundreds of people braved the heat to come out to Cooks Creek, Manitoba, around 30 minutes northeast of Winnipeg, for the kickoff of the two-day festival. Many enthusiasts could feel like they were being transported back in time as they delved into all things medieval and the world of the Vikings. And of course, how better to play the part than to dress the part. So this is a two-handed weapon. <laughs> Here, how, how about this? I'll be the interviewer. Okay, okay. This is your knightly sword. Okay. Um, this one went through many hundreds of years uh, worth of time period. <laughs> I've been working on this full suit for about two years now, uh, working on the gloves and the plates, all of it made of metal and leather that I had to find and then build in my own garage. Because of COVID and everything, it's been a while, so I'm super excited to be to be here today. For many, including Daniel Peters and Amy Kamoski, it was a long-awaited return of the festival, six years in the making. The pair arrived as soon as the gates opened and were definitely dressed the part as a knight and fair maiden. I think the wig was probably the longest part to take. Uh, it took like maybe a month to braid everything and to style it at all. As for this, it's just stuff that I found around. Uh, I've had this shirt for years in my closet and so it's a perfect opportunity to do it. What is it about Medieval Fest that keeps you coming back? It's definitely the costumes. The costumes and the events that go on, especially the jousting. I'm super looking forward to the jousting. Hosting. But uh, it's, I, I like coming and seeing all the different people coming from all over, all over the world, um, and just sharing an interest in medieval festival things. I'm most look forward looking to uh, all the, the fairs and all the things to buy, the jousts, the fights. I, I'm really a, a nerd about this, as you can see. Uh, just here for a good time, looking at where. From Cooks Creek, Manitoba, I am Maiden Joanne Roberts from City News.